Uh, we're here with the, the famous uh, celebrity Kareem Towns, uh, former uh, stud for Southern. It's a, a great interview to have. There's a lot of people want to hear from him. Uh, through all the trials and tribulations he's been through, so we wanted to do this interview uh, in dedication to his, his career and what he's what he's done and accomplished in his life. So, Kareem, thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Glad to be here. Um, we just wanted to talk a little bit about first uh, R.I.P. to Rasul Butler. We just wanted to talk a little bit about that. What was your relationship with Rasul Butler? Uh, Rasul was like my little brother. Like I watched him grow up from like seventh grade to his passing. I don't went out, you know, went out of town to go see him plenty of times. Like, you know, I still got his number on my cell phone to this day. Mm -hmm. He was like the little brother I never had. And you, and you said you knew him since he was seven? Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. Wow. My family, his family, real tight. And I mean, South Philly really not that big. So, you know, if you play basketball, you definitely gonna come in contact with a lot of guys. Gotcha, gotcha. Great, we're here. Um, next question, the, the, the question that everybody wanted to hear. What is your thoughts and what goes through your mind when you hear the great comparison between you and Sad Al Watson? Um, <laughs> it's funny, but it's a good comparison. Like I said, I, um, I love sad, a sad game. Like he's a little older than me. I don't know how they compare me and him. Like we wasn't even in the same era. But I guess he's considered a legend, and um, I guess I'm I'm considered a legend as well. But I mean, to be uh, compared to him is an honor because I mean he's one of the be best guys ever come out of football. So. And see what you just told us, I didn't even know that said I was you know a little older than yeah. you. But I, I think through everything. You've been, you've taken it well. You haven't gotten to the controversy and said how you feel about it, or you know, you all said how. So I think both of y'all handled it very well. Um, but overall, is there anything you like to address to people that you don't get to talk to, considering that, that subject? No, not at all. I mean, it's, I guess it's guys <laughs> on Facebook, the guys on the internet is trying to have fun, and right. guys who saw him play, guys who saw me play, it's just great for debate. I mean, right, as long right, as it right. never got physical or got out of hand, it really don't bother me at all. Like I said, I've got. The utmost respect for, for Sad and the guys. I mean, you're, you're, you're entitled to your opinion. You know right, I mean? right, right. Guys gonna like me, guys gonna like him. But like I said, overall, he was a great basketball player. He did a lot for North Philly, especially if Sixty Six when he played. Mm -hmm. But you know, it don't bother me at all. Right, right. That's good to hear. Um, another question that I think is is more personal, but I, I think person I think the people would like to know because you, you never really, I never really heard you touch on it, and other people haven't either. But we all know what you've been through. We don't have to talk about that. But I, I, we, I would like to know, and I think a, a lot of people like to know, what, what helped you get through that process you went through, and who had your back the most, who supported you the most? Well, I mean, my family, you know, all my close friends, like, I mean, the people that I considered my friends did the whole time with me while I was away. Right. I mean, they never wavered away from me, or, you know, turned their backs on me. So it was like, you know, I had a, st a strong supporting cast. So besides my family, my kids, and, and close friends, it really didn't bother me. It bothered me more that they were hurt than you know than me hurting myself. Right, right, I mean, because at the end of the day, I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. You know what I mean? I paid the price for it. But I, I hate to be judged by one mistake. Because mm -hmm. if you look at my whole life, I've never been in any trouble. Right, you know, right, I made right. one mistake, and sometimes people crucify you for it. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't do that to somebody because at the end of the day, there's nobody on this planet perfect. Right, right, so I mean, right. I'm gonna continue to make mistakes. I might not make a mistake like I did that time, mm -hmm. but I tell my kids, I tell my family, and I tell a lot of close friends. Like the situation was, it was scary at times, mm -hmm. and it was like a nightmare for real, for real, because I know the type of person I am. Like right, I felt right. like I didn't deserve to get that as much time as I got mm -hmm. for what I've done. But in the same token, I can't make no rules right, if I'm right, out there right. doing something illegal. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what's gonna happen. That, that comes with anybody. Right, right, right. I thank you for touching on that. Like I said, I, I've personally never addressed that matter with you because I didn't know how you take to it, but I know it's something people wanted to hear, and it's great to hear you talk about that. Another question I want to know, for you to, to, to have done the time you've done and to see your game where it's at now, it's like you haven't fallen off. It's like by the time you've defeated it. What, what were you doing that time now? How are you still to play such at a high level now? It's one of two, it's one of two things you can do when you're away. It's either get in trouble or try to take <laughs> care of yourself. I mean, I took care of myself as far as eating the right things, playing basketball, working out and all that. So it was like, I mean, I love basketball. And you know, I'm gonna love it until I stop playing. And like I said, before I went away, a lot of guys were younger and I see that they, you know, they up at age now. And if I still can compete, I'm gonna compete, but if it gets to a point where I'm getting out there and guys giving me 30 and 40, right. it's time to hang it right, up. Right, right, right. And, and with that said, last question before I let you go. Uh, talk just a little bit about what you think how basketball is now as compared to when you came up in your prime and when you were playing. What's the difference? 
I, I think basketball now is like you get a lot of opportunities. Like, I mean, when I was young, there wasn't no AAU, wasn't no YouTube, right, wasn't right, no right. cell phones. <laughs> but, I mean, those things go a long way because mm. with you being on the internet, you never know somebody from California can see what right, you do. I right. mean, that, and that even goes with school situations. Mm -hmm. A junior college, a major college, if mm -hmm. they don't have a chance to see you in school because you're in Philadelphia, if you're on the AAE circuit, your team might go to California, might right. go to Chicago. And, and the, it opens up a lot of doors for anybody who's playing basketball. You want to be in a positive, be around a positive situation. And I think the AAU came in and saved a lot of kids right, right, and helped right. a lot of guys out. Mm -hmm. And far as like our era and this era, I think our era was a little grittier. Right, right. I mean, because right. it was like more physical and you had to really be tough. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, it's a little touchy feely. Like, you really can't touch guys or body up on guys now because the rules have changed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I mean, I understand sometimes guys get caught up with arguing with referees or arguing with players on the court because they don't want to adjust with the times. Right. And the thing is this. We can't live in the past. Mm -hmm. This is a new era, so if you want to play basketball, you better adjust to the era. Right, right, right. And so, last but not least, the, the game y'all played today, I had game of the week. Take us through your thoughts on the game today. Y'all lost by what, <laughs> two, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell, you know there's a lot of smack talk going on. So tell us a little bit about today's game. Well, me personally, I don't ever get into that talk. I mean, I don't like to lose, but I mean, we competed. I mean, we made a lot of mistakes. Like, you know, we missed a lot of layups. We turned the ball over a lot. But for the most part, for us to play as bad as we played and lose by mm -hmm. two points, I mean, we did a good enough job, but we should have won. I mean, we missed Jay Myers and we missed another player on our squad. Mm -hmm. I mean, but we'll be okay. But I mean, congratulations to Frankfurt. They played a good game. They, they deserve to win. Right. Great sportsmanship, Brad. And I want to thank you personally for this interview. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. Thanks.